The following profile details the important events of this mission using approximate times. Five, four, three, two. We have RD-180 ignition and we have liftoff of the United Launch Alliance Atlas V rocket. The Atlas V RD-180 main engine and three solid rocket boosters ignite to lift the vehicle away from the pad. Shortly after liftoff, Atlas begins its initial pitch, yaw, and roll maneuvers to attain the proper ascent profile and minimize aerodynamic loads. The Atlas V reaches Mach 1, the speed of sound, at 46 seconds. At 58 seconds, the vehicle experiences maximum dynamic pressure. The solid rocket boosters are jettisoned about two minutes after liftoff. As it approaches booster engine cutoff, the Atlas V is burning propellant at the rate of 1,506 pounds per second, traveling at over 12,000 miles per hour, and located 78 miles in altitude and 275 miles downrange. Booster engine cutoff occurs at 4 minutes 26 seconds followed six seconds later by booster separation. The first Centaur main engine start takes place 10 seconds after booster separation. The payload fairing is jettisoned about eight seconds later. The vehicle now weighs just 6% of what it did at liftoff five minutes earlier. Cutoff of the Centaur main engine occurs 13 and a half minutes after launch. The mission now enters a coast phase lasting just under nine and a half minutes. At 23 minutes, 10 seconds, the Centaur main engine is restarted. This burn will last nearly six minutes. Following the second Centaur main engine cutoff at 29 minutes after liftoff, the mission enters a final three minute coast phase. At 32 minutes, Centaur releases Echo Star 19. 